Hi everyone, so today we're going to be doing an inspection of the Strong Hive, the one that we looked at the other day, the one where I thought was um, actually the, 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 the weak hive, there was, there was something wrong with it, and in actual fact it was the good hive, so that's the hive we're looking at today. Um, I'm kind of expecting to see at least one queen cell, if not a number of queen cells, um, and if I do, then I've got the kit today to do an artificial split. I'm going to be putting them into a full-size hive, if that is the case. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll crack on with it and see what we see. Um, just before we start, though, I'll just give you a quick uh, view of the um, swarm that we caught the other day. So, as you'll be able to see, they are absolutely booming in there. I won't be doing an inspection today. Um, I will have a quick look in a bit just to see how the food's doing. I've, I've bought some more just in case and I've just been pinged in the head by a bee. Um, so yeah, so let's crack on. Okay, so we'll get started in a second. Just a quick note though, I've just realised I've forgotten my little microphone attachment for my phone. So the sound quality might be particularly poor. Um, I've also got a very, very angry bee that's constantly buzzing at me and trying to ping at me. I'm not sure which hive it's coming from. I'm going to assume it's from the hive that is currently queenless. So quite often when it comes to a queenless queenless colony, um, the, the bees will be a little bit angrier, um, won't be quite so happy with you. And you know, as I've, I've not even been near the hives yet and they're all, it's already trying to have a go at me. So I can, I can only assume it's coming from that one. So um, I'm, not, I'm not going into that one today. I'm only going into the strong hive today. I'll be going into the week hive at the weekend so I'll do a separate video of that one uh, but again apologies for the sounds I'm, I'm using my GoPro video video uh, camera for this so hopefully you'll be able to hear something but I'll try and be as descriptive as possible anyway so I guess in a bit yeah just give me a bit of smoke Felt like there was a little bit inside there, and they're certainly starting to draw out the foundation on the uh, on the supers below. Just make sure the queen's not in here. I do really want to find the queen today, especially if I'm going to be doing a split. Okay, so they're filling that with uh, nectar. Both sides of that. Okay, so there's lots of eggs in here.
So there's the Queen. Nicely marked now. On each side. More brood, no queen cells yet. Nope. Nope. Do have a queen cell. Queen cell right at the very bottom, sort of centre ish. There's a larvae inside there, it's not capped yet, so I'll just see what else is in here. No, they're not so happy today. Queen cell in there, queen cell just there. there. Yeah, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a split today. Yeah, some more queen cubs and queen cells. Artificial split today. So, yeah, this is going to be an artificial split. I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to uh, show this. So what I'm going to do is take the queen, I'll take the frame with the queen, put it into a brand new... brand new brew box. Ideally, I want a frame with broods and um, lots of sort of capped brood, really, so they're ready to, to hatch. Obviously, there's no there's no capped brood on there. She's laying on that one, so I will. I'm going to put this one in as well as a, a capped brood frame. This one in as well with plenty of seal brood on that one. So I'll pop that in here as well.
existing queen in a new box on the existing location. the existing queen. I'll put the supers back onto this one. What will happen now all the all the flying bees will come back to this hive. Now these don't fit exactly. Existing queen on the old site in a new brew box. Uh, there is one frame where she is on and it's full of eggs. And there was, there was no capped brood on there though, so I, I transferred another frame from the capped brood uh, from the other hive into here. So at least there's some capped brood in there, so they'll be ready to hatch and, and get going effectively. So what I'll do now is just go in, go through the other hive, just take out. Um, take out the, the queen cells and, and leave the one that I think is best in there, so we'll see you in a minute. So as I say, I'm just going to go through this hive again just to find where the queen cells are and leave the best one in there. Ordinarily, I'd give the um, I'd give the bees a good shake off to uh, try and find the swarm cells, um, but as I'm trying to find a cell that I want to keep, what can happen if you shake out the bees is you can dislodge the larva from the uh, from the cell, which is obviously not what I want to do. Here's one with the queen cell, although well, it's a very small queen cell. I'm not sure if you can see, there's, a, there's an emerging bee, hopefully in the sort of centre of the screen there. Quite a bit of drone brood in here. So that looks like a queen cell, which I'll just knock down. It's not as good as the other one. Try and find any more cells. There's the only on there. So what I'm going to do now is I know which I know which frame has the cell on it that I'm going to keep. So I'm just going to go through them once more, 
just to make absolutely certain. This time I am going to shake the shake the frames down. on top is tend to come off quite easily. This is the new frame that I put in to replace the other two. This is the one with the Just want to make absolutely certain that no others on there. Again, I won't shake this one because there's this. I don't want to dislodge the lard I can see inside there. Again, in the case you didn't see it before, that's the queen cell there, not quite capped. This is actually the first time I've ever done a split. All the years previous I've always missed I've always missed them. So there we are, all done. Just put the uh, dummy ball back in. actually done here I've not bought the proper the proper lid so I've not really thought this out very well what you can't do is put a wooden lid on top of a poly hive so um, I, I'm gonna have to put it on now obviously but I have to come back later and add on a new poly uh, uh, poly uh, lid it doesn't fit so that will have to do for now. I'll come back in a bit and put a poly lid on. I won't put the strap on for now. And we will leave it at that. Okay, so this is the, the swarm nuke that I collected the other day. As you can see, or hopefully the sun's quite bright, they have taken all of the syrup from both sides. So they're certainly devouring it. Um, I'll be interested to see if they're really sort of building that comb up. Well, actually, there is a little bit left on this side, but um, but I'm not gonna open them up today. I'll leave them until to, uh, till next week, just to give them time to settle in, but I will put some more food in now. Okay, so just a quick recap on what we've just done. So the colony that was super, super strong previously, we've broken it down, split it into two colonies, created an artificial swarm. Uh, the old hive was taken to a new location, the existing queen was put into a new brood box and kept in the same location with uh, one frame of eggs and another frame of emerging brood. Hopefully that should be enough for them to be able to uh, sort of build up. Obviously with them being in the old location all the flying bees will go back to uh, the the existing the, the existing existing location where the old queen is in the new fray in the new um, hive. It's confusing. Um, and the old brew box there, the old old hive, new lo new location. I've left one queen cell in the brew box in the hive. 
replace the two frames that I took out that went into the new hive with two frames of foundation uh, put those into the new location and uh, the only other thing that we did there was feed the swarm as they're taking pretty much all of that food that we'd given to them yesterday so they've they've, they've certainly taken a, a lot of food um, this coming weekend when I inspect the queenless colony um, I'll, I'll have a quick look in the in this uh, swarm new just to see how they're doing it won't be a quick it won't be a, a full inspection it'll just be a very quick uh, quick look inside just to see what they're doing in there um, so yeah that's it I uh, hope, hope that was uh, worthwhile watching I um, hope you enjoyed it and see you again for another episode see you soon